Hi everyone, my name is Kayron and today I want to ask you one of the most important questions of your life. If I ask you to list all the things you love, how long do you take to get it done? Would you include yourself on this list? If not, well, you should. Self-love is linked to the way we see the world. We see many people suffering from this like what they see in the mirror. Become slaves to a standard of beauty imposed by society where everything you do is never enough. This can hurt and leave deep scars in our souls. However, it is important to remember that your self-love is capable of healing. Only self-love has the power to give you freedom. How you love yourself is how you teach everyone to love you. When we are capable of doing this, we understand that nothing and no one can destroy us. We understand that it is the most precious love, the love that God has placed in with us, the love for ourselves. I was raised in a strong family that went through many obstacles. Many times I felt like we are destroyed, but we could always rise up and rebuild ourselves more strongly like a rock. In this family, I was raised as an independent person. Your upbringing, the way we are raised, reflects directly on the way we lead our lives. I had love and discipline as a child. I was underst understand that nothing is more important than being your own person. Be ours and ours. Embrace yourself before trying to embrace the world. My mother always taught me that the best company is always myself, that I should not give up on what I dream, and that I should not shrink myself to fit into someone's world who deserves my best, will adjust my size of my dreams. I also learned not to feel guilt about limitations and that we shouldn't change our values and wills for anyone. This is how I see the world. However, many people do not realize the reality in which they live in. We live in an increasingly enslaved society of beauty standards. This is causing a major shift in people's thinking, making them want to fit in beauty standards that the media imposes one unavailable standard of beauty. Children, adults, women and men live in a relentless pursuit of the perfect body, doing crazy diet, exercising too much and often even without eating, forgetting the serious consequences this can have on their health. People need to be aware that we all have our own beauty and more importantly, inner beauty, which is what he really matters and that with the extent of a personal and professional su success and independent of a perfect physical appearance. The media makes a major contribution to people thinking, so instead of imposing beauty standards, it should, should just deposit, showing people values beyond appearance. Considering this, we get to conclusion that self-love in practice has to do with respect. Respect for others, respect for each wishes, respect for your limits and vulnerabilities. But self-love has to do with conscience and self-responsibility. It is being a witness to one choices. It is taking the reins of life itself. When you don't respect yourself, others will find itself entitled to respect you as well. When you don't love yourself, it is unlikely and one who else will love you unless not that we really deserve. So, love is a verb, love is an action, self-love, even my soul, exists only in practice. And it's practice with forgiveness, forgiving ourselves for slipped, slips, mistakes, weaknesses, last time after all. It's never too late to start over. This feeling practice, it challenge yourself. It is doing what has to be done when it has to be done. It is doing what gives your butterflies in the stomach. It is fulfilling that dream is so desirable that words say it's too much for you. We need to make peace with ourselves because that's how we will be at peace with others as well. That is the only way we will truly love someone. It is just how we stop confusing love with attachment and neediness. This, this is the only way we stop paying attention to the facts that others place on us. It is the only way we can truly pay attention to our virtues and how many there are in the day. 
Virtuous gives qualities. It is necessary to stop, look at them, evaluate them, because it is very tempting to just pay attention to what we do wrong. It is something almost inevitable. Therefore, let nothing limit us, let nothing subject us, let freedom be our own substance.